folks, Maury from 316 Automotive. We are back on the Volvo C30 again. If you remember the last installment of that car, we did the muffler delete, and we've got the, the two and a quarter inch pipes coming directly out the back. Well, it didn't look real good, and so we went and got some, some uh, stainless steel tips, which are cool and everything, but one of the problems is they're heavy heavy because this one you can see inside here is a double wall let me get some more light for you you can see it's a double wall you can see the double wall in there so what I've started what I've done here is this one here I've cut off the inside wall and you can see how that how that looks and here it is right there several rings and the inside wall, I use my Dremel, and I've gotten rid of between a third and a half of the weight, you know, comparatively, these two. So now this one weighs 325 grams, where the unmodified one weighs 515 grams. So that's quite a weight reduction, and it's gonna, it's gonna make the, uh, it gives us a bigger inner diameter uh, for the exhaust gases to flow through instead of you know the same diameter here So we'll we'll change the sound just a bit, but we'll uh, get rid of a lot of weight and so I've built a jig here that You can see It's just two pieces of two by four and a blocker and what I do is I take the the Dremel and I place it here and I rotate the tube to get an accurate cut like that and I do two cuts here on the sloping surface and then I can pull like this ring out right here you see that and then you can you can slide the inside out but it only comes out part way because it's got a flange on the forward end so then when this thing is sticking out here then I grind off the other end of it and I make another ring and then everything pops right out. And so that's what I'm gonna do with this second one here. And then we're gonna tack weld it on. And so um, that'll be tomorrow. We'll uh, get the car in here. Currently the Saab is in here right now. We'll get the Volvo in here. We'll tack these on. Then this thing is gonna be smoking hot. So stay tuned, we'll get to you with more. Bye. All right, now you can see right here, the cut and the rattle at. So I will, you see how that is rotating around? The inner sleeve is rotating around because we've got our, our first cut, our aft cut. Now we're in process of making our secondary cut and then this ring will pop out and then the, the inner sleeve will, will come out like four inches. We'll have to make another cut uh, for the other flanged end and then it'll all, it'll all come out and we'll essentially be done. So. We are getting there. All right, see you in a bit. Hello folks and welcome to another exciting episode of 316 Automotive. There I am, it's Christmas time. We've already opened our presents and everybody's got their stuff and now it's the afternoon and we're out here uh, working on the Volvo. Reese wanted to put some new tips on and as we showed you earlier, this side is gonna go right on. We'll, we'll cut this pipe off inside there and we'll we'll weld these tips on and that'll be fine however this side as you can see look at that i've cut away uh for the driver's side because wow, a lot of grunting when you're under a car you see right there there's a bend in the in the tube right here so we have to cut a smile out in uh, the tip, which I'm doing right now. And so you can see here, the tube can go in and out. We want it to be in more. So in order to accommodate the bend in the tube, you see the big, the big bend in the tube right there, we have to put in a bigger smile in the, uh, in the tip here. So, that's no problem, got a Dremel tool, and me and Reese are doing that, and so we'll let you know um, 
you know, at various intervals, how it's going. We're going to dry fit them first and uh, get them all straight. All right, I just got done trimming the driver's side tip. The passenger side tip fits nice. Here's how I cut it. I cut down. Let me get both tips here. I cut down a half inch off this tip and I cut a big smile in it as you can see and that's going to work just great the other tip needs no modification so we're just going to weld around this perimeter and on the driver's side we're going to weld around what I cut and around the smile so well if I could center the camera up that'd be good all right so we're going to start doing that and we'll get back to you Okay, folks, get over here. Okay, pull the, pull the tip out. You can see where I marked the tip, and we're going to cut about one to two inches short of that. That's all you need. And so we're going to cut this one eh, right about there. And then the other one, you can see, back that off. That's just the normal one, so that's a circular cut. So, eh, we'll cut it right about there or so. Give us one to two inches from the line, and then we'll start welding. Okay, we use the Sawzall, and we cut off the end of the pipe. You can see there's one there, and... H Mechanic Reese is deburring the pipes now, the existing pipes. There's the other pipe. You can see it right up in there. And then we're gonna fit we're gonna fit the two the two tips on, locate them and weld them. So we are getting busy here. Let me show you here. There's where we took it off here and on. The other side as well. So we're gonna be okay. All right, put that baby up. Boy, it looks good. All right, more in a bit. All right, I wanted to center up the tips. I'm gonna show you how I did that. As you can see right there, we've got about an inch and a half or so clearance around the. Um, around the bumper cover and here's how we did it we took let me get this thing out of here we took my wife's garden kneeler foam kneeler it's about an inch and a half thick and we just wrapped around here and shoved the pipe up <clears throat> and that gave us the exact centering that we needed so that took care of the centering side to side and up and down and then Forward and aft, remember we cut off the previous exhaust pipe and we just made the, the inside lip of our cut here around the, the tip to be about a half inch away from the, um, the existing exhaust pipes that we cut out and we marked them on the inside way in there and way in there and we drew a sharpie around the uh, remaining exhaust pipe. And so that's how we, we controlled the forward and aft, and that's how we controlled the side to side and up and down, and got them all centered up. So, you know, simple solutions to making the car look pretty good. So that's it for now. Cut. You probably got some burn marks in your shirt. I've got the thing for that though. <laughs> okay, tell me about that before I did that. I was holding the thing. And I thought, well, I can get that or we can tack. I would so I would say right. You know, up there. That 
it's just melting the tip a little bit. So, and, uh, do the best you can. Now go get the crack on, come over here and get the crack on this side. That's what I was just doing. Right over here. You need to, your body needs to be over here really. And you got too much wire sticking out. Give me your tip. Okay. Wake up there? Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's something. Yeah. Okay. I'd get some more in there. That's that's not enough. Dude. Fat bead, nice fat bead. Keep it going. Yeah. There we go. We've got the tips. Welded on. They look good. Looks good. There you go. All righty. We're ready to down jack this. All right, fired up. tips so ace mechanic reese here and welder and myself we got her done so that's it for this episode of 316 automotive see you later merry christmas